again. So today I'm going to be doing a review of the Iron Fist purse, the Lambie print. Um, I'll just show you right here what it looks like. This one. I was going to get, well like it was a gift, but I was going to ask for the uh, smaller one, the nude one. But when I saw this one, I had to have it. So I asked for it for Christmas and I got it. Um, on Amazon it's $50. I didn't check the Iron Fist website though. So yeah, so this is what it looks like. Oops. All the way around it's got the studs on the lining and then there's the bow. And the print is so cute like the pastel purple and then see there's the goats. I'll try to show you all the different goats there. Like, so cute, and like with the flowers and everything, I love how this looks. And the bow, the way it is, like the shape of it, it's so cute, and it's like not too big, not too small, it's perfect. Um, then there's the handles, it opens like this. It's actually really roomy inside, and that's the print. It has uh, two pockets here. I just put my compact mirror in that one. <laughs> and then it has the zipper pouch here with the Iron Fist logo on it. Yeah, and if you couldn't tell, the print was just a bunch of the Iron Fist logo all over it. It's really nice. I like it. Um, the size of it is great. Like, you can fit everything in here that you need. At least, hopefully. <laughs> if you have more than that, I don't know what you're carrying around but anyway um it zips really nicely like like no problem I can do it one-handed while it's hanging off my arm it's perfect the only problem with the zipper is this pokes out all the time when it comes undone so I'm always like sticking it back in there but that's not really a big issue um as for quality I would say this is like a really decent fake leather like it's really sturdy and thick um it does seem to get damaged a little bit easily because like just from having it hanging I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell but there's like some black marks on it like right around here oh yeah you can see that I think and then right there like just from I guess rubbing against my coat maybe maybe like one of the like metal buttons does that I'm not sure but the front of it is perfect because it hasn't like touched anything so I think as long as you're not too rough with it it should hold up like it should not get damaged or scratched very easily because I'm like pretty rough with my purses to be honest <laughs> um yeah and then the handles are really sturdy like I keep a lot of stuff in here so it's pretty heavy and like they are on there the handles are just like solid like I'll show you on this side so I don't ruin the bow like that's the way it is right there like it's just sturdy as all get out and the bow is sewed on really well so that's not gonna fall off and the studs are all placed really sturdily like that's not gonna come off unless I don't know you do something to it maybe then it will come off <laughs> um yeah so all of that I really like it's really good quality the only thing is the stitching is pretty shoddy like there's like loose stitches here another one there like all over the place right and then what I don't get how this happened this makes no sense to me but if you could see See that string here? It like connects from here to the handle. Like, what? Like, what is that? That doesn't even make any sense, right? Like, how does that even happen to connect from all the way over here to there? The same thread. It's like not even like loose or anything. It's just like stuck in there. How does that happen? What did they do? That I don't get. Oh, yeah, and then there's another loose thread there um yeah so the inside oops, is really good quality too 
like the fabric is really um it's kind of thick so it's like really sturdy if you spill something like in if there you have something in here like a perfume thingy and it breaks open I don't think it would get the rest of it wet it would probably be like stuck in here and it wouldn't rip easily like the stitching inside is like really solid like it is loose stitching again but or like loose threads but like it's solid like same with this the outside like even though there's a lot of loose threads it's still like solid so I'm gonna break on you very easily um so yeah overall I'm freaking in love with this purse it's amazing like for $50 that's what the sides of it look like like it is so freaking cute I cannot believe it and then there's all the sheep again so cute and it yeah like you're not gonna find another purse like this like anywhere else <laughs> you know like the creepy cute kind of style like I love Iron Fist everything they do is great and I love the size of this too um the only thing is like to have it over the shoulder if you like having your purses on the shoulder oops it's probably not gonna work with this purse but for me that's really good because like I carry so much stuff like my shoulder ends up getting hurt because of it so it's good for me to have a sh an arm bag so that I don't wreck my shoulder up but yeah like it can get kind of in the way since it is so big and you have it on your arm to like a reach for things and stuff while you're shopping it can be kind of a pain in the ass but I think it's worth it to have something so adorable and also to not screw up my shoulder because like any purse you have that hangs off the arm is going to be in the way. So I guess that's not really a big deal. Um, so yeah, I would give this purse mm, an 8 out of 10 probably just because of how easily it can be marked on the back. But I don't know if that might just be because I'm rough with it or not. But I don't know. They have the marks on the back and also the threading. Like that doesn't even make any sense. How does that happen? What did they do? Like, what? What? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, if you're thinking about getting this purse, I suggest you just go for it because like, I think it's worth it. It's definitely worth the money. Um, only like, a bit of the stitching is a problem. And that's it. It's like sturdy though. It's not gonna, it's gonna last you a long time I think. Well, it's gonna last me a long time. <laughs> and. I just am so in love. This is my first Iron Fist bag purse, so I'm really happy. And I hope if you are watching this, it helped you decide whether you should get it or not. Because I think if you're into this style, you should definitely get it. Because you ain't gonna find anything like this anywhere else. Well, maybe from Folter. Because I have two Folter bags that are kind of similar, but not nearly as cute as this. So yeah, that's my review. 8 out of 10. I friggin love it. It's roomy. Everything is great. Now I'm just repeating myself. So yeah, I hoped this helped you and I will see you guys later. Nee.